we are going to look at multiplying and dividing by 10, 100 and 1000, which is something that you've all done before, and hopefully it's nice and straightforward, and we're going to apply it to our decimals. So, we've got on this board, we've got our place value chart, and the chart that we looked at the other day, where just like on the counting stick, if you've just looked at our daily count, you can see exactly the same thing on the chart, where everything is moving one place. And there's a freeze that we did today on our daily count. So we're going to use our place value, and we're going to think about how to multiply and divide by 10, 100, and 1,000. The important thing to remember is if you multiply, what do you do to the number? If you're multiplying it? You make it bigger. You make it bigger. If you're dividing a number, you do what? Make it smaller. You make it smaller. Good. And that's a top tip to remember because if you check your answer, you need to remember that you need to make it bigger to multiply, smaller when you divide. We're going to start with 34 times 100. So we've got three tens and four ones. We're going to multiply it by 100. So if you look at your 100, there's a big clue as to how many places you need to move those digits. Can anybody tell me? How many places do I need to move those digits? Good. There are two zeros. That tells us we need to move them two places. So the three tens move one, two places into the thousands column. The four ones we move one, two places into the hundreds column. The decimal point always stays where it is. It never moves. But we've got a gap there. What do we do with that gap? You put the two zeros in because you move the two zeros. So. You put well, you do put the two zeros in, but why do we put the two zeros in? To make it a placeholder. Good, as placeholders. We can't just leave it blank, so we put the two zeros in as placeholders to show that we've moved those digits. Okay? The next one. I want to think about how we would do 12.34 times 100. So let me just put 12 in. I'm going to put it in there. Decimal point, 3, 4. And again, we're multiplying by 100. So what's the big clue there as to how many places we need to move it? Two. Two zeros. two zeros, two places. Remember, two zeros, two places. So, everything would move two places. So the one ten would move to the one thousand. The two ones would move to the two hundreds. The three tenths would move one, two into the tens column. And the four hundredths would move one, two into the ones column. The decimal point always stays where it is. It never, ever moves. You don't actually need to put a zero in. You could put the zeros in there. You don't actually need them because there isn't anything there. There aren't any decimal numbers anymore. That decimal number has changed into a whole number. It's changed into 1,234. So, that's how we multiply. When we divide take everything in the other direction and you look at the number of zeros again. So if, for instance, I said we want to divide 34 by 10, how many places am I going to move that 34? One. One zero, one place. I'm just going to rub those out so I don't get confused. And We've got our 34, remember the decimal point doesn't move, everything moves one place this time because there's one zero, and we're going in the other direction to make it a smaller number. So the four ones become four tens, tens sorry, and the three tens become three ones. So that 34 becomes 3.4. You're now going to all have a go at the starter questions, and use that knowledge answer the start of questions. 